What's going on guys? Back with another video and I feel like talking so I thought I'd spit the truth. You, you, you can hide, you can so today's topic, bodybuilding and fitness is now becoming a bloody trend. It's frustrating the hell out of me because it's like it's turning into fashion. It's just like fashionable to, to compete. What does competing really mean? So let's take a look at the ladies. All right, so ladies will start their trend with, oh well, I need a coach. I need a coach. Okay, so I'm gonna get my gym membership because I've never trained before. I'm gonna get my coach. I need a six pack bag. Honey, make sure we get, when we go shopping, we get a uh, Tupperware. I need those leggings and those booty shorts and one of those like low cut top and then I'll be ready to compete. Typically, that's all I see. I've said it in a previous video and I've said it before that some people like to just use it as a reason to get themselves in the best shape of their life. To tick something off the bucket list. Not in a sense, compete. But those people are different. And I'm okay with those people. They want to prove to their friends and family that they can see something through. They're different. I'm talking about the people who they actually feel like they compete. These are the people that never step on stage looking right because they can never push the barriers needed. The people that focus more on the fluff around competing than the actual competing itself. The ones that exaggerate the little things that make it look like you're competing. Pulling out your Tupperware on the train when you're getting off at the next stop. What are you doing? You just stunk out the whole train when you're getting off at the next stop anyway. And you're getting off at the next stop to go home. <clears throat> Let me compose myself. Then you've got the guys. All right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about competing, but uh, are, you, are you sure you want to compete like now? Because you've only been training two months. Yeah, but well, I think I'm ready though, bruv, isn't it? I think I'm ready. Like, look, look, the gains have been all right. Look at my biceps, 12 inches now, get me? I'm pretty sure that the other guys are like 18 inch arms. And, and stuff. Are you, are you sure you, you want to do this? Yeah, 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 bro. Those are your typical guys. You haven't been training that long. Relax yourself. I know it's fashionable. I know people, people are now starting to like the people that compete and it seems to be the way to go once you get a personal training qualification, but you've only been training for two months. Then you've got the ones who, there's nothing here, there's no lats, and because they've signed up for their first competition, they walk around like this. No one actually asked them if they compete, they just force it upon you. So you might ask him, bro, why, why are you walking like that? Yeah, I've been on my first show, right? I've been on my first show, you get me? So I ask again, why are you walking like that? Now, I might as well understand. See what I mean? See what I mean, cuzzy? These guys just don't understand. The whole everything down to the six pack bag. The trend at the moment is, let me become a personal trainer. Then I'm gonna compete. Then when I compete, everyone's gonna know my name. Then I'm gonna get sponsored. Then I'm gonna go to Body Power and stand on a stand. The amount of questions that I get about how do you get sponsored, people are actually willing to take nothing. The company wants to use you for their own personal gain and they're not giving you anything back and some people will still go to that company for sponsorship just for the sake of saying you're sponsored. Come on, it's not that serious. It's not that important. Why are you competing? How long are you gonna be competing for? What is your ultimate goal? Those are the questions that I ask myself and those are the questions that I continue to ask myself and my goals will change. Yes, now I'm looking more into a bodybuilding show, but I don't have to do one because my, my passion has kind of shifted after being told that I'm too big for the category that I want to do. It made me realize that this competing is not as serious as I thought. Motivating you guys and you guys seeing my journey and you guys seeing what I go through and understanding it for when you want to compete yourselves. That's the shit I like. But anyway, before I start ranting, that's all I've got to say on that topic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and I'll catch you guys later. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it, I got my whole